Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Capricorn, this is the Beware spread. We have uh, the Four of Swords, we have the Hermit, we have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Page of Swords and Justice, and we have the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. Um, so the bad news is that you will be um, breaking up with somebody. It could be somebody you are already in a relationship with or married to, right? Because we have Justice there. Justice could be a divorce. Or if you are to start a new relationship, it will end just as quickly as it starts, unfortunately. So the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold. And unfortunately, Capricorn, that's the way I think you'll be feeling. Not only that, we have uh, the Four of Swords, the first, card that, the first card that came out. This is a card of somebody who is... Uh, taking a break but I think together with all these cards I think it's gonna take a toll on you so you'll spend some time in bed it will be really tough on you you'll need some time alone then we have the hermit the hermit is either a Virgo you're dealing with um, if your person is a Virgo they could be leaving you or the hermit is your energy you'll just have to take some time off do some soul searching realize what happened and uh, and uh, come up with the uh, answer, I guess, or you'll have to figure out what you need to do to make sure this never happens again. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I do see it as being really bad for you, Capricorn. Then we have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Page of Swords and Justice. The Ten of Swords is a card of an ending, right? Uh, the Page of Swords is, I think, communication between you and the person you're involved with and uh, this is uh, them letting you know that this is over and justice card is either the legal system so if you're currently married they could be filing for a divorce or this is just the separation between the two of you if you are not married then uh, the two of you are still parting ways uh, this relationship is coming to an end unfortunately Capricorn all right, so uh, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. The advice spread often reveals more details. All right, Capricorn, so here is the advice spread. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Emperor. We have the Five of Wands clarified by Temperance. We have the Chariot and we have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius or a Cancer. So we've got three major arcana cards here. It's uh, going to be something important. So I think this is all in your hands. It's up to you how you want to do this or what you want to do about this. And I can interpret this a couple of different ways. Um, if you're thinking about starting a fight with this person, then I suggest you don't because uh, that could be like the last uh, nail in the coffin or that particular fight or about that particular thing will trigger something that will... Um, inevitably uh, destroy this relationship. So with the five of wands clarified by temperance, this is you who could prevent this fight from happening or this particular fight on this particular subject, right? <clears throat> um, another way I can interpret the spread is uh, you can prevent this whole thing from happening if uh, somebody comes back from the past for your uh, boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your significant other, or if somebody comes back and tries to steal that person from you. Now that you are aware of that, you can prevent that from happening. Um, don't, I don't know how, <laughs> but you can. Right? Because uh, the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I think this is you who can think about it, and you can either let it go or you can uh, take action. And uh, the Emperor, the first card that came out, it could be an Aries you're dealing with, or this is a suggestion for you to take control of the situation. You can control it from the point of view of uh, not starting a fight, or you can prevent this thing from happening. <clears throat> that is 100% up to you. I'm not trying to uh, make you lean towards any of the uh, options. You can let it go. If you believe that if this person wants to leave you and they don't deserve you in that case, then you can just let them um, out of your life. Or you can take option 
too and uh, either prevent the fight or prevent this person from leaving you altogether. So the chariot right there, this is either a cancer you're dealing with or the chariot is about moving forward. So it's up to you which way or how you want to move forward. All right, that's what I got for you. But uh, let's move on to uh, spread number three. The That spread is about the uh, next thing that will happen to you in uh, the month of January. Okay Capricorn, here's uh, spread number three. This is the next good thing that will happen to you in January that will at least put a smile on your face. We have the Ace of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Four of Pentacles and Temperance, and we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. By the way, this is a different deck. This is not the same deck I used for the first two spreads, but I think the um, the next good thing that will happen to you is still related to what we saw in the first two spreads, right? We've got Temperance right there. This is a repeat card. Um, and it's clarifying the Eight of Wands and uh, the Four of Pentacles. So, um, this is still about preventing what could potentially happen between you and the person we saw in the first two spreads. Temperance is all about healing or it's all about patience, it's all about healing or not uh, jumping the gun or not uh, starting a fight, right? So this is uh, a suggestion for you to just calm down and remain calm, <laughs> right? The Four of Pentacles is a card of somebody who's holding back if uh, that's the case, and, and that's the case if you're thinking about starting a fight or an argument with this person. Right, the Eight of Wands is a card of communication, so you can hold off from communicating, right, and uh, just sort of let it blow by, I guess. Don't, don't start this argument, don't start this confrontation. Another way I can interpret this spread is uh, if somebody is coming in as a challenger, you can win. Because we have the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory. This is a card of a success and the card of a recognition. So now that you are aware of uh, what we saw in the first two spreads, you can prevent it from happening. The Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. Then we got the Queen of Pentacles, that is uh, you Capricorn, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Eight of Wands, this is you taking action, this is communication. This is one of the fastest cards in the deck, so you need to act quickly. And again, as I said in the previous uh, spread, this is up to you. If you want this to go one way or the other way, it's up to you. But uh, you'll have this option, you'll have this choice. Okay, so that's how I see this whole ordeal. Um, and that's what I got for you, Capricorn. And other than that, have a fantastic January. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.